Now let us talk about uh, software reuse. Uh, in this uh, word only, uh, what software reuse is, is uh, explained. Because reuse is something is available and you are utilizing it again rather than making it again and again. We will see the introduction why the software reuse, the objectives, the software reuse, reuse based software engineering, benefits, problems, advantages, application system reuse and conclusion. What is a software reuse? This software reuse is actually the process of creating software systems from existing software, making the softwares from existing software rather than building software system from the scratch that is not reinventing the wheel which are available things which are uh, you know accessible to you you may utilize it rather than making everything again and again so something that was originally written for some different project and implementation will usually be recognized as reuse if you try to employ it so code reuse is the idea that uh, a partial or complete computer program written at one time can be, should be, or being used in another program written at a later time. So say at T1, some uh, program P is written, P1 program is written, some T2 time, some P2 program was written, this P1 may be utilized for forming this P2. This is what is said here. So the reuse of programming code is a common technique which attempts to save time and energy because you don't need to make everything from the scratch because you have some background, you have certain things which has been already tested, worked and you know uh, seen upon. So it saves the energy and time and the redundant work which you are doing can be uh, minimized to a certain extent. So a good software reuse process facilitates the increase of productivity, quality and reliability, performance and decrease of certainly the cost, effort, risk and implementation time. An initial investment is required to start a software reuse process but, but that investment pays for itself in a few reuses. So I have known a company, a very giant company, once it has made a hospital management system software uh, and now it is just customizing it and giving to the users. So initial investment was quite high but now they have recovered everything and now everything is in profit. The objectives are to explain the benefits of software reuse in some reuse problems which we are going to see and we'll discuss several different ways to implement this software reuse and we'll try to explain how reusable concepts can be represented as patterns and embedded in the program generators. Patterns and embedded in program generators. Then we are going to discuss about cards, common of the shelf reuse and we'll try to describe the development of software product lines we are going to see. Software reuse again revisiting it in most engineering disciplines systems are designed by composing existing components which are available that have been used in another system. So just use them why to redevelop. The software engineering has been more focused on original development but it is now recognized that to achieve better software more quickly and at lower cost because everything is quick now, everything, you know, everybody wants your software to be low cost, there is so much of competition. We need to adopt a design process that is based on systematic software reuse. Now, reuse based software engineering. You might have heard about software engineering a lot, but there is a reuse based software engineering as well aspect. First is application system reuse. So the whole of an application system, this application system reuse, the whole application system may be reused either by incorporating it without change into other system like God's reuse or developing application families. Second one is component reuse. 
components of an application from subsystems to single objects may be used. So there, this is based on different different components. While object and function be used, it means that software components that implement a single well-defined object or function may be reused. This is application based, this is component, using of component and this is using of objects and functions. What are the benefits of you know, software use? First is increased dependability. The other one is reduced pro this process risk and effective use of specialist standard compliance and accelerated development. So it develops very fast. But there are certain problems as well. What are these problems? Increased maintenance cost and lack of tool support because of if I am using some tools which is already being developed then can I ensure the support of that tool? Maybe, maybe not. And it is not invented here syndrome because people try to make it by themselves. They don't rely upon what has been made by other people or uh, they say not invented here. Also creating and maintaining a component library. This is again a challenge. Then other problem is finding, understanding and adapting reusable components. Let us see the reuse landscape. Although reuse is often simply thought of as the reuse of system components. Just that is something you reuse it. There are many different approaches to reuse that may be used. How to reuse them? So reuse is possible at range of levels from small simple functions to a complete application systems altogether. The reuse landscape couple uh, discovers the range of possible reuse techniques. So reuse is you have design patterns, component based development, application frameworks, legacy system wrapping and service oriented systems. Also it gives or it interacts the use is of type application product lines maybe cards integration configurable vertical applications program generators and aspect oriented software development then there are planning factors also as far as reuse is concerned the development schedule for the software this is one planning factors then the expected software lifetime is important to know the background, the skills, and the experience of the development team is again a planning factor. Then the criticality, the criticality of the software and its non-functional requirements. This is again needs to be seen. And the application domain and execution plan platform for the software is what the planners of a software would like to see. Then the component reuse or the concept reuse is also an important uh, aspect because concept when you re reuse this program or design components you have to follow a decision you know design decision made by original developer of the component somebody has made it he has his own design decision so this may limit the opportunities for reuse however the most abstract form of reuse is Concept reuse. This is concept reuse when a particular approach is described in an implementation uh, independent way and an implementation is then developed. So a particular approach, approach if it is de described or defined in certain independent implementational way, now the concept reuse can be done. So the two main approaches to concept reuse are first is design patterns the other is generative programming let us talk about design patterns a design pattern is a way of reusing abstract knowledge about a problem and solution so this is abstract knowledge reuse so a pattern is a description of a problem and the essence of its solution so it should be sufficiently abstract to be reduced in different settings so patterns often rely on object characteristics such as inheritance and polymorphism, right? 
patterns, design patterns, they often rely on the object characteristics, which are inheritance and polymorphism. This is just an example of an observer pattern, because we are talking about design patterns. Like, see, we have a subject, we have an observer, this is concrete subject, this is concrete observer. These are, you know, you can very well find out where the inheritance and where the polymorphism is going on. Okay. Then comes the generative programming, a software designing, um, you know, design or engineering a paradigm in which what we are talking about genetic generative programming so the paradigm where a given a, this is given a particular requirement specification and this particular SRS is available to you then you can uh, use this paradigm uh, highly customized and optimized highly customized and optimized intermediate uh, means uh, end product and can be automatically manufactured on demand and from elementary reusable implementation from uh, right from uh, the elementary to reusable implementation and by means of configuration knowledge these places all these places you can adopt or you can use a software engineering uh, paradigm which is called as generative programming uh, there are various application frameworks also. Frameworks are actually the subsystem design made up of collection of abstract and concrete classes and the interfaces between them. You have abstract class and concrete class and sub some interfaces between them. So a subsystem is implemented by adding components to fill in parts of the design and by instantiating the abstract classes in the framework. So frameworks are moderately large entities that can be reused. So essentially we are talking about our frameworks reuse yeah, here. So there may be uh, different classes of framework. First is system infrastructure framework. You have middleware integration framework or enterprise application framework. In system infra infrastructure framework, uh, sup it supports the development of system infrastructure such as communication, user interface and compilers and in middleware uh, standards and classes that support component communication and information exchange. In enterprise application framework, it supports the development of specific types of applications such as telecommunications or financial system. This is MVC model view controller. This is the system infrastructure framework uh, for D GUI design is MVC. It allows for multiple presentation of an object and separate interactions with these presentations. As you can very well see here, this MVC framework involves the instantiation of a number of patterns, as we have just uh, discussed. And then comes the application system reuse. It involves the reuse of entire application system, entire application system, either by configuring a system for an environment or by integrating two or more system to create a new application. A card's commercial of the shell. This is a widely used term. These card systems are usually you know, complete application system that offer an API application program interface. And building large applications by integrating card system is now a viable development strategy for some types of systems such as e-commerce systems. The key benefit of uh, or the key benefit of these cards is faster application development and usually lower development cost then application system reuse you have software product lines so software product lines or application families are application with generic functionality that can be adapted can be adapted and configured for use in a specific context so adaptation what it involves is component and system configuration adding new components to the system Selecting from a library of existing components and modifying components to meet new requirements. So let us uh, see the key points. Advantages of reuse are lower cost, faster software development, and lower risk. Design patterns are high-level abstraction that document successful design solution. And program generators are also concerned with software reuse 